let's consider the second example. If u equal to 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared. So u depends on x and y. So we can do the partial derivative of du dx. Now in this case, there are three terms in u, so we can using the linearity, we can differentiate the first term, minus differentiate the second term, minus differ plus differentiate the third term with respect to x. Now for each term, when you differentiate 2x squared with respect to x, you get 4x. When you differentiate 3xy with respect to x, notice that y is treated as constant. Therefore, you can pull out the constant factor 3y and end up differentiate x with respect to x. And we know that differentiate x with respect to x is, is 1. Therefore, 3y times 1, you get 3y. Whereas on the last term, differentiate 4y squared with respect to x. As we differentiate with respect to x, you keep y constant. Therefore, 4y squared will be a constant, and you differentiate a constant, to give you 0. Therefore, du dx is 4x minus 3y. What about du dy? So when you do the partial differentiation of u with respect to y, so you differentiate individually, so you differentiate 2x squared with respect to y, and minus differentiate 3xy with respect to y, and plus differentiate 4y squared with respect to y. Notice that as you differentiate with respect to y, you keep x constant. Therefore, 2x squared will be constant, and differentiate constant, you get 0. On the second term, differentiate 3xy with respect to y. In this case, x is treated constant, so pull out the 3x and differentiate y with respect to y, give 3x times 1. The last term, differentiate 4y squared with respect to y, you get 8y. So in the end, du dy is minus 3x plus 8y.